Evans' fourth piano concerto performed here in the Royal Festival Hall by Song Jin Cho with the London Philharmonic Orchestra conducted by Edward Gardner. Listening to that finale, I just hear moments that are positively Brahmsian much later in the 19th century. And as you can hear, Song Jin Cho goes down a storm 
with a packed house, a full house here in the Royal Festival Hall. A slim figure, he looks entirely at home at the keyboard, poised, and he's got that Chopin-esque lightness and clarity, did after all win the Chopin competition. But he's got power too when needed, as you heard. And he's much enjoyed his first time working with the LPO and with Ed Gardner. Says they have a stylish lightness of touch too. First performed at one of Beethoven's gargantuan concerts in Vienna in a freezing day in December 1808. It was the last time he appeared as a concerto soloist. It was regarded as a work of prodigious difficulty which Beethoven played with astounding skill at the fastest possible tempi. I wonder what he'd have made of Song Jin Cho. I think he'd have liked it. Who knows? But the, uh, the whole concert, this wintry concert, freezing concert, was something of a disaster. The concerto fell into oblivion until it was rescued some 30 years later by that tireless champion of neglected music, Felix Mendelssohn. Ah, a little indication he might be giving some more. finale of Haydn's piano sonata in E minor. 
played by Song Jin Cho as his encore after Beethoven's fourth piano concerto. Haydn marks that finale innocently.